unboxing um, my new iMac. Um, it is a 27 inch 2.8 gigahertz i7 processor with 4 gigabytes of RAM. Um, looking into upgrading that to actually 8 gigabytes of RAM, so it's in between between the actual maximum of 16 and then you know 8 sort of in the middle. Now, when I got this box, it's huge. I mean, like literally, I'm just like I'm looking at the video right now, and it's massive. And I had the box right next to me, and seriously, it's like it takes up so much space. I seriously thought that the actual box itself will be the iMac will be contained there within the foam and etc. But the iMac actually took the whole box. But then after then, to my notice, inside the iMac, obviously the foam was there, so it's not as big. But it's so it's sort of overwhelming type of thing. Um, I, I could not imagine how big the Mac Pro would be. But anyway, there it is. The beast. <laughs> um, but besides that, um, I actually went towards getting an iMac because it was sort of the all-in-one computer. And um, so far right now, this, to me at least, I think, it, it, I think it's like a powerhouse computer because, you know, i7 processor, um, 4 gigabytes of RAM is sort of in the middle. Um, but you know, and I have two terabytes of memory in here, so it's not too bad. Um, but besides that, you know, I would love to have a Mac Pro, but you know, it's a little bit not that I don't have the money, but it's sort of like a waste of money, really. I mean, yes, I could use all the you know, the facilities of the Mac Pro, you know, take advantage of that, but when do I really need to have that all? Um, you know, then after I have to go buy, you know, a new monitor, etc. So, so much hassle in the way. <coughs> and speaking of that, like now, you you get the, um, you know, you get a wireless mouse, um, all works on Bluetooth, obviously, um, you know, wireless keyboard, everything. And I find that quite, um, you know, a selling point in time, you know, where they're trying to sell the iMac as an all-in-one computer because it does come with everything. Um, don't mind me, I'm just taking pictures for a review. Um, I decided to do a voiceover because this was like late at night and I could not be bothered doing it. But, yeah, so as normally you get, you know, sort of manuals, CDs, um, if you need a reboot, Snow Leopard, etc. But, um, I think I'm looking for the Mighty Mouse. And the actual um, keyboard is quite small. Um, I didn't know it would be that small. Because I've seen, I, I used to have the, not the wireless one, but the wired um, new keyboard layer with you know, the, the num key. Um, I do miss the num key actually, but um, it's no point. I mean, I'd rather have something small and move around my room than, you know, something bulky and big. I do wish this could connect to the PS3, but, um, you know, I heard people saying you can't connect, even though it's Bluetooth, but there's something in there what's stopping it. Who knows? <coughs> Anyways. I just missed half this video, unfortunately. But yeah, let me go. Anyway, so these is from it's huge. I mean like like look now if you see the box, you can't even see the iMac, not even the top of it. But um like just the stuff to contain it. Also when I was watching some reviews or unboxing videos of the iMac, um obviously I'm in Australia. Um a lot of videos I watched was, you know, people in America and so forth. And they said their iMac came battered. Um, this was in the early ages when the iMac, you know, first got released. They said, you know, the boxes were battered, screens were broken, screens are not even working. You know, it's crazy. I was happy that um, my iMac, I mean, it's a long way now, but I was happy that it actually came, you know, a working device instead of have to send it. Because I, I waited like three weeks for this thing after I ordered it. Because I had to order it in because it was a custom made um, iMac. Anyways, there it is. Um... Yeah, I was really happy with it. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Um, yeah, I was really happy with this device. I mean, I'm using it now to edit. I'm using it now to play music. I'm still juggling between, you know, because the way I used to do things on my MacBook Pro is to keep everything externally off the device. So I used to have everything wirelessly. So I'll use my external device to get all its music, all its pictures. Everything was stored externally. Um, cause I thought, you know, cause obviously if you, once you start putting junk on the computer, it's going to make the computer slower, not in terms of RAM wise, but you know, boot up time, um, all, all those small little things, which you don't notice really. 
But um, then after that, I thought to myself, yeah, I can keep it externally and do whatever. But then I thought, I have two terabytes of memory right here. Um, on my old MacBook Pro, I had 160. And I, I barely used all of that. I mean, I was just about, I was just about there. But still, that's 160 gigabytes. This is two terabytes right here. So, I mean, I don't think I'll even get through a terabyte. I'm going to partition it. Um, I was thinking of partitioning it one terabyte, one terabyte um, for um, Windows 7, you know, to play some PC games and etc. But then, then, then Portal came out. Not Portal, sorry. Then Steam came out for Mac, and I thought I'll wait a while. So I'm going to partition it to 500 gigabytes so I get the small little games to play it whenever I want it. Um, but I also, in my upcoming videos, um, this you'll see some more videos coming out of um, this iMac, um, MacBook Pro, uh, what else? Apple TV, Time Capsule, and yeah, so stay tuned for that. And see that white device I just, oh not device, that's white fabric, I'm pointing it to it now because I know I'm going to say something. Um, yeah, so that white fabric, I um, actually kept it, I actually have it right here right now. And I think it's sort of good, it's a good, um, like if you get the sticker, there's some weird sticky stuff on, on the back of it. So if you get that out of the way, um, you can actually use it as a cover for your Mac, so, or your iMac, sorry. And then, you know, when you're going out, when you finish, um, I wouldn't recommend putting it on when it's, you know, sleeping or anything because um, it still accumulates heat. When you turn it off, when you finish for your iMac for the day, just chuck it on there to sleep, prevents dust from coming to it, um, people touching it, maybe people even turning it on if you want that. But yeah, there we go. It's actually not that quite heavy, I thought it would be much heavier, I think the box is heavier for some reason. Um, but yeah, it's only I think 17 kilos, about. Um, yeah, it's widescreen. Um, I think the other iMacs are not widescreen. I'm not too sure. Because uh, when I look at them, they're like square. So this is widescreen. Um, I'm also looking into connecting this. I know you can connect this to... Look at me, smiling or happy and shit. <laughs> um, yeah, so I know you can connect this to your PS3. I'm not too sure. I know people have done that because this, this actually iMac can be used as external monitor also. So if you have a Mac Pro, you can actually connect um, your mini display to that. So if you know what I mean. But anyways, um, video is nearly over. Um, so now this is me in actually like, you know, I'm, I'm actually partitioning, like transferring all my files to my iMac. So from my MacBook Pro, I actually transferred all my files, all my applications to, you know, my actual iMac. So it saves me time from actually getting all the installation files, installing it all the game where, you know, this, I think, it's, I thought it was called um, disk management or something. Um, it does it all for me. So as you see here, um, you can see the memory in the Apple thing. Let's get it right now. As you see here, 2.8 gigahertz of, of, as you see here, 2.8 gigahertz Intel i7, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and 2 terabytes of memory. Okay, catch you guys later.